New at five, Atlanta City leaders are trying to help firefighters, police and corrections officers find an affordable place to live. As Brittany Klein Peters shows us, it's all a part of an effort to recruit and retain public safety workers here in Atlanta. Firefighters, police and correction officers will soon get help for rent and housing to keep them in Atlanta as the housing market continues to price people out. The vote is closed. 13 yeas, zero nays. 13 yeas, zero nays. A motion to adopt carries. Today, Atlanta Council members adopted legislation to donate half a million dollars in American Rescue Plan Act funds to the Atlanta Police Foundation to support the Community Safety Housing Program for public safety workers. While council members unanimously agreed to it, there was some pushback from the public. We have citizens in Atlanta and your districts who are houseless. I do not see how housing for the police can be a priority right now, no matter your views on policing. As a part of the legislation, the city will provide a housing subsidy to officers and firefighters to help them afford apartments close to the precincts and facilities where they work. The move comes as Atlanta police and Atlanta fire struggled to recruit workers for open positions. The most recent data from last month from the Atlanta Police Department shows the agency is still down 450 officers of its 2000 authorized positions. That means about 78% of current positions are filled. Backers of the bill say they hope it will make police, fire and correction positions more attractive to applicants at a time when housing costs have increased significantly. In Atlanta, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News.